Hi guys, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Um, this week I wanted to continue on from some of the um, video how-tos that I've been doing on the Sansco um, CCTV camera system. So this week I was trying to set up the mobile notification for, mo um, for motion detection on my phone and I've managed to do that successfully. So I thought what I would do is um, set it up on my dummy setup if you like and show you guys how you can do that just in case you've been struggling um, it was a little bit fiddly to get it to work just because I was pressing pressing those buttons and just trying to figure it out but once I've got it to work it's actually pretty straightforward and you can do it in about five or six minutes so what I'm going to do is you can see this big monitor on the side here I'm going to turn my laptop to the side so you can just focus on the screen and then what I'm going to do is try and talk over and show you um, the well, I guess what menus you access and what buttons you press to get it all set up. So without further ado, let me turn it to the side. So here we go. Okay, so you can see my dummy camera set up there. I've got it set up for motion detection. And as you guys would have seen in my previous videos, um, I've shown you how to set the area up for motion detection. In this instance, I've got the entire uh, camera recording section set up for motion detection so i've not blocked anything out um, and that's just because um well that's just because i want to make sure that the motion detection works but if you've got this camera set up in a particular location and you just want it to detect uh, motion within a certain area you can do that as well so as you saw motion detection was set up and the moment it detected motion um this uh put this actual box popped up and then you've got a little tick um, just to say it's detected motion so you can see it just flashes just there so assuming you've got your camera set up you're good to go what you want to do is we want to right click go to the main menu and what we're going to do is we're going to go into system and we're going to go into the network sorry not the network we're going to go into net service and in net service <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to make sure your alarm server is turned on and if it's not mine wasn't what you want to do is just double click on it and then just hit enable and it just activates um, I didn't play around with any of these settings I don't know what they do um, or I haven't figured it out yet but if you do happen to know what it is just drop a comment in um, at the bottom of my video so you want to enable that and then what you want to do is you've got the mobile reported option at the bottom and we want to enable that as well. So if yours is disabled, as mine was is, you just um, double click on it again, tick the box to enable, and then hit OK. So once that's set up, we want to go um, and hit cancel, and we want to go into alarm, we uh, go into motion detection, and then um, you'll need to do this, I believe, for each channel you're on. So if I had uh, all of my eight cameras plugged in, um, I could set up mobile notifications for one of those cameras or all of those cameras. It all depends on um, your preferences. So you might want a notification for everything or actually I might just want a notification for um, if someone tries coming um, through the back door or if someone tries to come up to the front door, um, they're the two areas that I may want a notification for. So. What you want to do is you want to select your um, channel or camera essentially and you will have this option here called mobile reported and you want to just make sure that that is ticked. If you don't have this option it may mean that your firmware is um, a slightly older firmware. If that is the case all you have to do is email Sansco. They're very very good. They'll provide you with a um, new firmware file and all you do is you copy it onto USB plug it into your into the back of the actual device and then what you do is you go into system you go into nope you want to go into advanced and then you've got this option here which is the upgrade option and you press that and it will then detect the files and you can upgrade your um, DVR to the later software so once that's done, the entire setup essentially on the camera side of things is all done. So what I'm going to do is turn my laptop back towards me and show you what you need to do on your phone. So you want to firstly download the XMI um, app. 
once you've done that, you want to create a um, user account, set up your username, your password, connect your cameras. This is all easy to do and I've shown you guys how to do this already so I'm not going to waste time in this video showing, showing you guys how to do that. Once you've done that, um, you will be hopefully my screen, my camera can pick this up. I'm going to turn the brightness down. So maybe that's too done. Okay. So once you've done that, um, let's see. Okay, that is a teeny bit better. Okay, um, it's just struggling to read it just because it's uh, completely white. So all you can see is um, that's my home camera. I click into it and I've got a list of all of my cameras. At the moment, the one that's activated is the dummy one. So we're going to click on to that. So you can see that's just showing a live feed of the camera that's just behind this monitor. Click on the home button. So I've clicked on the home button and then I've got the alarm configuration option. So I've just clicked on that. And then you've got a list of all of these alarm options. Um, so the first one's alarm, alarm record, alarm snapshot, alarm push, and then sensitivity. You wanna make sure all of them are ticked um, so that you get a notification for each one. And then that's that bit done. Make sure you remember to hit the save button. So just hit save. And then we're gonna go back to the main menu. Okay, so once you've gone back to the main menus at the moment, you can see, should be you should be seeing this. So all of your cameras, you wanna hit on the top left, there's a button up there, and that takes you to this menu. Okay, and then we're gonna to go to alarm push, just there. Again, white screen, so it's struggling. We're gonna click on home camera. Again, and then um, we're just making sure that the alarm pushes are turned on. So if I clear my notifications, we are gonna test this and hopefully it's going to work. Um, right, so I'm gonna clear all of my XMI notifications. Um, so if I do that, okay, I can see motion detection has been detected on the actual DVR on my monitor and hopefully here we go you can see or you you might struggle to see there we go video in motion um, from your XMI camera so you can click on that and that will then take you to um, the actual notification if you've got it set up uh, when it detects a um, some movement it will actually take a picture as well um, and you can also do email notifications as well which I think I have actually I have done a video on it already for you guys as well so as always thank you very much for watching I hope you found this video useful um, if you have make sure you hit the like button below and please do subscribe thank you